how's this lighting? Kind of dramatic, huh? I mean, there really isn't much besides the window, and outside the window is a big hotel. But if you look like that way, you can see the, the beach and the water. But what I want to do today is use this opportunity while traveling and working for a client uh, on a shoot tomorrow and make a video that kind of talks about something I see a lot of small business owners struggle with, myself included. Talking to the camera and not seeming like a robot, does that make sense? Kind of showing some personality and not like you're just reading from a script. But first, I'm going to continue offloading a few files from this morning. One of my favorite things to do in life is to just be able to like drive around and explore. And, and literally have nothing else to do except explore. And in my case, get footage. But oh, let me see if I can put this down. I was kind of limited on what I could bring since I had to pack a whole studio, so I didn't bring like the best vlogging setup here. One of the things I like to do is pretend I'm talking to a version of myself when I first started, before, before I ever really even knew how to use a camera when I was just figuring that part of it out. And when you pretend you're talking to a version of yourself when you first started, it kind of gives you a feeling of authority and like know-how. So I feel like it can get you over the hurdle of confidence that a lot of people have a problem with when they're first starting out. You can also pretend like you're talking to a client that is perfect for you, you know, an ideal client that you worked with and everything went perfectly, depending on what makes sense for the video project you're doing but just kind of getting out there and having the authority and, and feeling in your head like, okay, this is something that I am qualified to do and talk about. So that's one of my favorite tricks, but I mean, come on, let's look at this view one more time. Put my ND down. Off to, off to the beach to get some more footage there. Hopefully I can find a spot to fly the drone. That's on my to-do list is get some really awesome drone shots that are uh, in approved airspace. I got this the Mavic Mini 3 Pro for this trip because it's so small and I had limited space. Super pumped to see how it how it looks. I mean, it, it's it's I have the Air 2S that I use normally and this is way smaller. It's supposed to be almost as good, if not as good. Got the little screen in the remote and everything, so I had to like come away from the beach because you can't fly right over the beach here. So let's let's test it out. I'll put some footage right here. else can you go where you have like the beach and the mountains like within five minutes I thought we had a good in New England with like an hour or two drive from the beach to the mountains um, but this is this is beautiful and so what what you want to do when you're talking or making a video and going on camera is plan it out ahead of time and not super detailed unless it needs to be for some reason but just bullet points and just like a list of topics that the video will cover so you keep yourself on track and ideally, they're, they're topics that you, you know, you know off the top of your head, so you don't need a script anyway. And that way you can kind of do it section by section and as many takes as you need, but it keeps you on point and it keeps you focused and it keeps your video. And it keeps your video kind of like on target and not all over the place. We just got back to the hotel. I parked the car. I went over to Beverly Hills and uh, Hollywood. I was trying to get some drone video of the Hollywood sign. Uh, I wasn't really able to do it, so I said screw it. I wanted to make it, make sure I got back here for sunset, which looks pretty epic. So let's, let me tell you just quickly why we're here. We're doing a project for a client that has offices throughout the U.S. And we're going out to each office and making kind of like a marketing video for that office. So obviously we're in Santa Monica now for the L.A. office, and then we'll be going throughout. There are other offices too as we go forward with the year. 
But I just want to bring this home on one last point, and that's practice and repetition, just down to the take level. So when you film, do a take over and over if you need to, to the point where you're not really worrying about what you're saying as far as content, but the tone and inflection and personality. So just kind of practicing that kind of stuff will help you in the long run. You're just doing it more and more, you'll grow. Post it, get it out there. It, if, even if you don't think it's the best, feedback will help and seeing yourself grow will help. So that's really it. I mean, those are, those are my three high level points that I usually give to other small business owners. So now this sunset looks amazing. I'm gonna go get some B-roll, maybe a time-lapse, maybe some drone footage. We're gonna end the day on a strong note with an awesome sunset, and tomorrow we film with the client. See you guys in the next one. I just had to come back on real quick while I walked to the hotel. That was one of the best sunsets I've ever seen hands down. I mean, it's still going on. H how is that even real? All right, see you guys next time. Bye.